Hey there, you lovely people. Um, so thanks for your interest in the energy inventory. So the exercise here is really just to start to take a survey of home and professional life um, and really get a handle on where you might have uh, unmade decisions, pending tasks, or tolerations that are serving to either drain, leak, or block your energy from flowing. And the first thing I just want to say about this, for those of you that are a little skeptical about my use of the word energy and kind of wondering, is this like a, is this like a tarot card crystal thing? Um, you know, yeah, if you're into that, take it in that direction. I love it. I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of room for, for creativity and play and fun and insight down that road. But for those of you that are looking for a more traditional view of what energy leaks really are, I want to let you know that there is a lot of brain science to back up this idea of energy drains. And I've talked about this before. Um, decisions, uh, pending tasks, and tolerations are all things that require a fair amount of glucose from the brain. They are, in, a, in essence, ways that we have um, some incongruence in our life, some conflict where two things are true. I want to do this task and I don't want to do this task, right? Or um, I feel like I should go to this event, but I really don't want to this, go to this event. Um, I feel like uh, the entryway hall at our house should be neat and tidy, but it's not tidy and I don't have the energy or the time or the interest to be the one that tidies it. Um, I, I um, want to buy a car. I know we are going to need a new car soon, but I don't really feel like spending the time and researching what kind of car we need and figuring out what's going to work best for our family and our budget. These are uh, conflicts. They're, they're conflicts in our brain, ways that we want uh, two conflicting things or we have interest in two conflicting things and our brain uh, brings them back up into our attention to create resolution. It's really natural. It's the way the brain works. It actually is helpful to us in so many ways. But if we can identify places where this is occurring repeatedly, what we can do is we can save ourselves so much energy, real energy, things that exhaust us, things that tire us. So the energy inventory can be really good for people who are already too tired uh, and are feeling um, unenergized and exhausted. It can be really useful for that, but it can also be useful for those of us, and I'm in this boat a little bit now, who are feeling some uh, re renewed momentum. I think spring, the energy of spring and all the new life in the world right now um, uh, makes is bringing bringing forth some new energy, but occasionally it gets a little stunted, it gets a little dulled, it gets a little thwarted by the energy leaks in our life, the ways that we're spending energy unwisely. And so uh, the purpose of the energy inventory is to give you access to more of the energy that you crave and uh, make the energy that's naturally occurring inside of you more available for the things that you really care about. What you'll do on the worksheet is you'll identify in various areas of your life, personal and professional, where you have unmade decisions, pending tasks, or tolerations. And I really trust that once you see the full landscape of these uh, things in front of you, you'll start to have some instincts about where your biggest wins will be. And I encourage you to sort of experiment and trust those instincts. So for instance, maybe the place where you're feeling like you crave more energy is around your work. Um, you're craving more excitement or enthusiasm as it relates to sort of professional life. But when you look at your tolerations, stuff that sort of draws you in and feels like more sticky or more interesting or more impactful is in your home life. I encourage you to just follow your instincts on that because as we all know, 
uh, the, the boundaries between work and home are way more fluid than at least we used to pretend they are. Um, and so there's a chance for you to just kind of go with your gut a little bit and see what happens. Let it be a little bit of an experiment to see if you can trust your intuition on this and, and see what comes of it. If you do a couple of experiments and you feel like it's not going well, try the opposite, you know, do do a sort of what intellectually feels right to you. But um, I encourage you to be a little bit playful with it and a little bit curious about what can come of it. As always, send me an email if you have any questions. Send me an email if you get stuck along the way. Uh, send me an email if you want to talk about it and digest it more. I love hearing about your experiences with these activities. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to talk to you more about it. So until next time, enjoy the energy inventory.